Hi everybody, and welcome to Josiah is Right. So today we're going to talk about the future of gaming, which is right here in my hand, the Nintendo Switch. Today I'm going to review what works, what doesn't, what could be better, and basically my experiences over the last month of having a Switch. First, the whole future of gaming thing. A portable home console was what we all wanted with the Game Gear. And certainly what we wanted the Sega Nomad to be, a totally portable home console. The Switch is just that. The battery life? This certainly depends on the game. Zelda taxes it out. I've never taken it to the limit, but have taken it down to 3%, which is as close to the limit as I'm willing to risk before getting it on the charger. I've heard other games are less taxing, but from what's out there, I can't see playing something like Mario Kart on your own for several hours. Although with friends, I could play it for days on end. The tablet itself is well built. Heavy, but not too heavy. It feels really good in my hands. It doesn't feel cheap like certain other parts of the Switch. It doesn't feel overly small, although there are times where it can be a little bit claustrophobic when things get a little bit crazy in the game on that smaller screen. The screen is nice and bright with a great image. I personally like the size, but wouldn't mind it just a bit bigger, but also not any smaller. And not much bigger, just a shade or so more, to make the Zelda claustrophobicness less claustrophobic. That said, it's still best on an HD TV. It's great that I can play on the big TV, pop it out of the dock, and allow my wife to watch whatever she wants, without even having to save or really stop if you move quick enough. The controllers, on both the Joy-Con grip and when on the Switch handheld, are not perfect as everything is vertical. I found that holding the Joy-Cons, one in each hand, improves this as you can kind of shift and make it more comfortable for yourself, but it feels foreign to play like this. I have had problems when using the Joy-Cons when it's on the TV, as the left will drop out of sync. I've kind of mastered waiting for it to sync back up but I've also walked off plenty of cliffs in Zelda. Way too many to remember, with this game over screen killing me every time. Ugh, cliffs. Also, it's the worst in the middle of a battle, particularly a boss battle, it really kills. My router to the left of the television is really close to my setup, so that is part of the problem. But I've had no issues with the right Joy-Con. The motion controls are good, but could be better. It's my understanding that the controls are the same ones used in the Wii, so the technology is probably advanced, but the technology used here really hasn't. I personally view the motion as more of a bonus feature as opposed to a necessary feature, though some games are built on that. I personally don't see myself playing those to excess, although maybe, you know, something like Just Dance with Judy. Not my favorite type of game, but it's fun with her. There are times when it can be really helpful, but times where you inadvertently use motion controls when you're just trying to aim manually, or tweak things just a little bit and it throws it off. I have yet to get a pro controller, but plan to, as the Joy-Con grip is tiny. I don't have the largest hands, but they are adult size, so it doesn't work for me. In my opinion, the PS4 controller is a perfected controller. The pro controller seems similar to the PS4 controller, so I'm sure I'll prefer it. Also, it has a D-pad, which, to be honest, like, for the retro gaming, I think that's something that's going to be really valuable. The grip itself feels cheap. It's overly light and feels hollow. The plastic also feels really hard, unlike other parts of the Switch. The dock is also a bit cheap. It could be a little heavier, just to hold it down when you remove the Switch. It's small and is all cute when the Switch is snuggled in its dock. It is made of a very hard plastic without any padding to gently accept the Switch as it is docked. I personally bought a screen protector to prevent it from scratching when putting it back into the dock. A two-pack for about $10 on Amazon. Easy to install, clear, and works well. Be sure to install in a steamy bathroom. It helps. It comes with a built-in kickstand, which honestly feels a little wobbly unless you're on a really secure surface. But the cool thing is underneath there, you can add a micro SD card. I also picked up a starter kit. It includes a much cheaper looking screen cover, a screen wipe, these covers for the Joy-Con joysticks, which are terrible and actually hurt to use, these Joy-Con armor guards, which I kind of like, they make the grip much bigger, but not huge. The headphones are nice. Though they seem cheap, they sound great and are really earplugs, so it isolates you while you are playing those games. The best part is the 3D molded case. It is Mario themed, as are the other elements. The case holds 12 games and everything feels safe, secure, and perfectly at home on the road. As you can see here, the Switch is being put into the Velcroed and secured, well padded case. I'm really enjoying Street Fighter 2 Alpha, the final challengers. If I don't pass out saying the name, you'll have a blast playing new school meets old school in this game. I'm really enjoying the games I have thus far, but I'm really looking forward to Super Mario Odyssey later this year. The game looks awesome and super fun.
Those are my early returns on the Switch. Not a perfect system, but an utterly awesome one. Tell me, what do you think of the Switch? What's your experience so far? If you don't have one, what do you look forward to with the Switch? What games are you looking forward to playing? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I release new videos every Sunday and Thursday, and I have plenty of Switch videos with more coming, so if you like this video, be sure to check those out. Thank you for watching, and remember, Josiah is right about switching back to Nintendo after a very long time.